Hello and welcome back to the question and answer session with Diabolus and the Space Coder. If you missed our last uh, last video where we talked about customization options in Star Citizen, what they do well, what they fall down on, and how they can improve, the link will be right above Diabolus. And of course, it was dropped at the same time as uh, this video. So while this video, the way I'm probably going to do this is that this video will drop exactly the time when you should be finished with the first video. So if you were watching it the moment it dropped, when you finish, the next video would be ready for you to go. So it's a nice little chain so you don't have to worry about it. Um, make sure you check that out. Make sure you are um, following Diabolus and Space Coder on their, their social medias. And check out the Armory, uh, the armory .the space to for your own customization options for FPS and finding where to get stuff. So um, We literally just spent an hour talking about it. So go yeah. use the Armory, please. It's going to save you time and effort. It, it will save you time and effort. Uh, all right, let's let's talk about the questions. Diablo's probably uh, the first question is from six days ago. The second question is from six days ago. The third question is from Dig Yet yesterday. Yes, <laughs> which is why I gotta I gotta go through. That's why I don't like I don't like leaving them open because it, the kind of thing happens. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, there we go. First question comes from Pace Cape, who asks, when do you think we can get to do more stuff except just selling things we mine, bounty hunt, salvage in 318, find loot boxes, etc.? Uh, will there be more use, uh, for example, the gems we mine and use them for some type of crafting? I mean, the answer is yes. 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 We don't know but when or how. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be way down the track. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. They might, they might use, so you know how to talk about modding, like guns and overstocking spaceship weapons? Some of those gems might be used in that for, like, lining up, like, like in-game law justification of lining the power supply coupling with, like, had night or something. Mm -hmm. But at CIG with that, we don't know what they're going to do and when they're going to do it soon. TM. Yes, soon. Answer the call. Yeah, answer the call. 2016. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Yeah, we, we don't know, but I, I can almost guarantee you some of that stuff is going to be there. But things like the gems are meant as kind of a placeholder, uh, which just sounds weird for a 10 year old game to have lots of placeholders. But, you know, that's where we are. Uh, there, there's going to have a lot of there's a lot of stuff like that, which is designed. It was designed to make FPS mining usable. Uh, and they're just kind of playing with the resources they have now. Uh, I think eventually they'll find a use for it. There'll be some sort of either rare resource you can sell it as, or you can, uh, you can refine it into something else or, or craft it into something else. But that's so far down the line, like at least two years, probably longer. So. Yeah. That's a conservative estimate. That's very conservative. That's, that's very conservative. Um, like I, I, a little bit like in the back of my head, like I, I know it's completely naive to still have hope at, at, after yeah. so many years of playing this game. But, you know, in the back of my head, there's a tiny little hope that once persistent entity streaming and server meshing is in there, things are going to start moving just, just a little bit faster. And we're going to see things a, a little bit more often. And things are well, going to advance. Well, container streaming is in, it's going to go so much faster. Uh, hey, what? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I get no, I'm, I, I'm making from the old joke from, yeah, like... Yeah, the old jokes, I get it. But, I mean, there, there, is, a, there is some basis in that, like... CIG has been harping on for years that the big pillars, these big pillars are the ones they need to get done before they can start working on things. So um, I'm not saying that they won't find some other bullshit to pull out their ass about <laughs> what they need to do next because that CIG is very good at that. I was um, just going to say it, <laughs> it. It could happen. I'm not saying it won't happen. I'm just saying. What's the next acronym, Paul? Guess it. Come on. Uh, P-E-S, O-S-S, O-C-S. C-R-E-P-T-M-D. Uh, that's, that's what's the next, <laughs> the next acronym. Uh, but a, and a lot of it is also what works and what doesn't, you know, um, PES wasn't the first persistence thing. It was, uh, I cash before that. And then they failed and we're moving on to PES. So, uh, so, it, but it, at least it seems like CIG has been consistent that these are the things they need to do. They know they do need to do it since day one and they have plans to do it. It's just the road to get there has been fraught with other things. So we're finally at the last little few options, well, little huge options, the, the, the last things they need to do to put in for pillars. Um, the question really becomes, how long is it going to take them to get those in? 
and how much more do, will they need to refine those pillars before they can improve the gameplay? So I'm I'm with space space coder on that hopium where it's just like when when some when weeks Sir back I saw in, a little little animation on Instagram. It was like so we have a plan. Yes, it's a good plan, very good plan, and now we have to do it. Ah, yes, the doing, and that's that's what CIG have been doing for the past yeah. couple of years. It's like yes, the we have the plan, but yes, the the doing. Yes, indeed. <laughs> And and it's also in the report, like Chad's pointing out, like Squadron Forty Two is still a thing, and they still need to be focused yeah. on that. What? So, uh, answer the call. It came out. In okay. Spoilers. You want to avoid Squadron Forty Two? Let me get the sand files out. Okay. Nah, but... <laughs> me and Diablo know the entirety of of Squadron Forty Two's story, by the way. Well, <laughs> from what they recorded in twenty sixteen, yes. Yes. So the 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 big strokes. So um, I love the big strokes. Everyone loves big strokes. Big strokes are the best. Meanwhile, Tony Z lurks in a dungeon doing things. Yes. Yes. I imagine that's what he's doing. <laughs> All right. Let's move on to the next question. Outlaw Night Zero asks, do you think we'll see more customization options like the Origin 300 series uh, tied to uh, the chassis or will it be more unique? Oh, th- when did I do that? I don't remember. Oh. But there's a reason why that, that system hasn't been implemented. CIG works in this pattern where they'll go, we'll build this thing and test it and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, they just pretend it didn't exist and they move on to the yeah. next thing. And then eventually they'll go back and fix that thing or, or re- redesign it. And a great example of that is uh, ship names. They they thought it was going to be a simple system. They had time between other sprints. They got it done. They pushed it out. And they said, ah, this is our little experiment. Does it work? Yeah. And it doesn't. So they're like, whoop. Well, not with ship skins, no. Yeah. Not with, yeah. So they, they, they oh, tossed the, the, it. The friend you'd eye is, the friend you'd eye is one of those, oh, you want to buy a white seat for your friend you'd eye? Five bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, uh, you know, the way you said it, Paul, like where they pretended it never happened, like made me wonder, like, is CIG the Communist Party of the Soviet Union? Because that's that's very Soviet Union of them. <laughs> uh, like, but yeah, I, eventually I there will be a customization. It, yeah. It's probably not going to be that level. It's probably not going to be done the way 300i was done. No. I think they're probably going to do it somehow with the insurance system long-term persistent storage and persistent entity storage somehow there, there yeah. something will happen the he high level was, developer talking, description he wasn't talking about communism as like money making it's he was talking about, he was the, talking about the fact that so kept Union. doing stuff and failing at it and, and pretending it didn't else. exist and doing something yeah. else yeah <laughs> That's what he he's, meant by he's it. talking no, about the historical Soviet Union there, Mac. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I agree. I, I don't think we're going to see like what they said with the 300 is not not the way they're going to do it. They're definitely going to do those things because a CIG will find a way of monetizing it because they want to and because they yeah. probably need to. They're not yay. They don't have. They can't like release a mobile game and make a billion dollars in two days. Um, but. They'll, they they still are going to need to find ways of monetizing it, but they'll also find ways of making it so that players can in, in bolt on these unique chairs or whatever. Um, it's just we're so we're like years away from that being kind of refined. So, uh, all right. Next question next comes. Plus. The next question is uh, uh, Jim Tonic asks, "What about player outpost base customization?" I actually have a theory on this one. They, they mentioned okay, it in right. either this ISC or the last ISC, which is the, um, oh, what do they call it? They call it the pallets, the the overlays, the overlays, ah, the yes. overlay system. I think that's the way they're going to approach base customization for player bases is they'll have overlays that you can apply either to individual locations or to the whole base. So it makes it, it's like a simplified way of you can go like snap your fingers and you've got a prison here. You know, you snap your fingers and you got, you know, this section is now like a yeah. homey place and this place has got an armory and whatever. So they'll have something like that. Well, they'll have, they'll have overlays for specific like locations that'll make it a little bit easier to pop it. It's like drag and drop sort of thing. Yeah. I think, uh, I think that's reasonable as an expectation. And, and it would, you know, work with the technology that they have and it would give them this certain degree of control probably it would be a temporary solution because i think they want players to have full customization for bases mm-hmm. but as as you know as a version one solution this works this is fine well, and you can also keep it in there if a player doesn't want to like because some players don't want to go there and like do 
move my little yeah. bobblehead one centimeter to the right. Like they don't care. Yeah. They just like, I want a base and they need an armory, plop it down, yeah. click the button and it, and then I'll go build it. You know, not, not fiddling with it, not getting all those things. Cause like the thing I both love and hate about fallout four is the base building. <laughs> it's <laughs> frustrating. Uh, you have to mod it, but once yeah. it's modded, it's good. Like, but it's still like, I waste so much time on something that just means nothing. It's just, it's just pretty. And it's like, I, I so I, I, I understand the, the need to, to customize, but I also have the, I understand the point of just, I'm plopping this down and there's beds, yeah. go sleep in those beds, you know? Um, what do you all think? Do you think, you think we're going to see, how do you think customization for player bases might look? <laughs> it's going to look one way and they're going to change it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's 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 one of those things. It's so far down. It's like it's so far down. I've very uh, yeah. Uh, I hope I hope we can just make a color theme as well because I like if I have a sand, if I build on sand, I want it to look like sand. I mm-hmm. want it to blend in. I don't want bright pink. Well, depending on where I'm building, bright pink mm-hmm. might work. But like I said, I like I want to be able to pick the color as well for the love of God. Uh, I, I have to agree on this. Uh, I think I think there will be no customization. Like first release is going to be no customization. Like mm-hmm. you get a couple buildings that have different functions. That's it. Uh, what is going to happen later? I think is we're going to get like building prefabs uh, because I I think there have been mentions of like okay the pioneer can build fully custom outposts from nothing, but you can also buy prefab buildings and use those. So I think we're going to get a I've, bunch of prefabs and you can assign functions to those. I think there might and, be templates. The uh, yeah. What the party builds is all templated, so you have a select what you can build. Yeah, but that's also possible. I, I don't remember it exactly because it was I, I read it a very long time ago and it might have changed in the meantime. So I, I think we will see something along this these lines i think we will see color customization if ship color customization happens if not then it's probably also going to be like flat color skin based we'll see it's it's all very far in the future but we'll yeah. see uh all right Othelman asks diablos can no. i please get the files for that helmet no we can't it's 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 like a legal issue legitimately <laughs> i i can actually if you, i can get you on discord i can walk you through how to get it yourself and make it but i can't Give, give you it. the what I've done. Funny thing is that uh, that helmet I made for that suit I made like four, three years ago, and I there was the first helmet I did like solo, mm-hmm. and it was horrible. It's like over there, and then I've I actually used the same files again and made that one. So that's yeah, it's a good. I put them side by side to see how far I've come. Yeah, you'd be surprised how much just a couple of a couple of uh, ex- little, little bit of experience will make you improve your 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 workflow and your 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 whole design process so uh all right gin and tonic asks when do we get the uh, promised hex code so we can uh, input a character configuration from a reset to reset in terms of the hex code for like resets um Uh, for the character grader yeah yeah. i've I've squadron 42 it's gonna have to happen for squadron yeah uh that's something they're gonna have to to code in for so you can import from squadron to yeah star citizen yeah it'll be something they'll do i think it'll be around there and they are currently working heavily on player customization for Squadron. It's one of the major things they bring up a lot in the monthly reports. So, Wait, Well, you don't just remember the faces and the eyes and what you use, because I do. <laughs> I it's do. a pain in the ass, but I remember yeah. exactly what I've done every time I make yeah. a character. <laughs> yeah, so like, right now it is easy, but when they add more customization, it's going to be more difficult. But I agree, uh, we're probably going to see it around the time when we're going to see this in Squadron 42 as it's linked. We will see if they will actually make it a, a physical thing you have to do yourself or you copy from Squadron and copy it into Star Citizen. I would like to see CAG do a more streamlined solution where it actually goes through your account because they have the capability mm-hmm. to do this. But then again, maybe I'm expecting too much of CAG it's too early. You know, I'm kind of stuck in this place where I don't want to have expectations of CAG, but also at the same time, I expect them to have common sense. Well, you also got to remember that there's more than more than just importing it from your character from from like your 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 save files or which they, I'm sure they could do. Um, you also have hex codes, so you can do things like I don't know, give it to a friend. You know, so it, if there's a, gonna be there's gonna be the celebrity lookalikes on 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 Reddit. 
Yeah. And the, the heck's going to make you look like he, this person. Yeah, Brad Pitt. You know, this is how you can look like Brad Pitt. This is how you look like uh, uh, Taika Waititi. All those sorts of like, those sorts of things are, are popular and yeah. people want him so they could be like, hey, uh, my my friend is going to role play as my, my twin brother. So we're going to have that. Or, he, you know, here's the code where you base and you can just change the eyes. Well, oh, they're literally the twin brothers playing the game. And they yeah. want to look the same. Yeah. Yeah, those sorts of things will happen, and they'll they'll be good for a promotional reasons because people will be able to pass them around, and it'll generate buzz and engagement outside of the game for yeah. movement towards the game. And also, uh, it'll probably be simpler for them just to be like, "This is the the unique code," because we've had those since like two thousands. I those wish little, those when little... you first load in, you get a random face, so you don't get six sixteen dudes looking the same. Yeah, because yeah. I if, if I'm over it, over it, I just go done. I'm just in, and it looks you got default Dan. Like a, I'd, I'd love to have yeah more ra- random like you you just you like, you load it up it it hits the dice and you just roll and you just get a random face so uh, what do you think that's uh, good yeah no I, I think that that would work uh, obviously saving the the face to your account it carries some issues because it probably wouldn't be a long term persistence item so mm-hmm. it would get wiped and you would basically end where you started so right now. Just having it as a code that you can copy out of the game and save it in a text file somewhere, perfectly valid solution. But eventually, I, I think we will want something a little more streamlined, something that you might be able to see in your settings or in your account, something like that. But we will see. I, th- I hope it's going to happen soon, uh, just so we can share character visuals. Mm-hmm. But you know, you never know with CIG. They, it might not happen for years, and then it might just happen on a random patch because some developer had free time and they did it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Next question comes from Steve B. Dancer who asks, how do you feel about salvage being a reskinned of mining and not something completely different? Get used to it. Uh, it's not all according to expectations. Yeah. It, it's, 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 it's not, not though. Yeah. It, <laughs> <laughs> uh, mining is you're sitting there at a one location, pumping energy into a rock and you're being stationary. Salvage this this the first instance of salvage is what we've seen is you have to find a wreck and then you have to go through the wreck and then slowly scrape off the area, which is you're doing a full area scan sweep. You're using a beam weapon, a beam tech, but you're doing a different process of processing it. With um with mining you have to scroll wheel and change how much power you're putting and stuff. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm sure I'm effectively sure I'm sure eventually you'll have to do that yeah. because you'll damage the superstructure if you don't, but you know, yeah. but yeah. it's, it's a different process. Yeah. Go ahead. Diablo. Sorry. Yeah. It's just like mid mining, you get that little bit at the end when you're like with the rock mining, you picking up stuff of a sweeping beam after you crack it. But like the, the three different types of mining are different in like gameplay of what you're doing. Same as salvaging. They're all beam weapons, mm-hmm. but when you're mining a giant rock, you're putting power into it. Then you cracking it again. Then you're extracting from it. With rock mining, you're picking up every individual rock, and with salvage, you're sweeping a full surface area of an item. It's your, st- it's yes, it's beam weapon, but it's not the same process. Uh, embrace beam, beam citizen. Beam citizen is because superior. Like, if, yes. I love how everyone wants. I want animations for all my stuff, and no, yes, you can go up to your no, friend you and jab them with a med pen, but you're sitting there five times spamming the right click in a combat situation trying to jab your friend because he half does the animation, and you're like, just jab him. Fucking, yeah. oh. You don't. You don't. You don't, you don't want. You don't want complex surgery with uh, with, with with a game like Star Citizen. That would be impossible like, and, and not fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's so annoying when you don't have a beam weapon when you go in like a beam healing tool in a combat situation because from long range he's up. Like, oh yeah, I can jab him, but I now have to come out of cover and jab him. Like. Oh. Uh, and there'll and there of course they'll add more variety and more more difficulties and stuff like that going forward. I but. think the main thing a lot of people are forgetting is that hull stripping is not the core of salvage. The core of salvage no, is going to be just I found the crash one. ship. I'm going to go in, take out the components, take out the weapons. I'm going to sell those, yes. and then I'm going to strip the hull for everything else that's valuable. Like that's the last step. It's a, a, a hard space shipbreaker. Like when you in hard yeah. space shipbreaker, the first thing you do is you go into the ship and you pull out all of the valuables out of it that you need yeah. to. You find a way, and then you cut away at the at the exterior, and then you start you refining that. It's, it's similar yeah. to how how salvage is actually going to be. You're gonna have to explore the wreck before you start cutting it open. Because let me tell you, 
probably a bad idea to start firing lasers into a pressurized ship. A reactor. <laughs> or a no. reactor it's that you reactor. don't realize was there. <laughs> uh, oh, is that a full oh, tank of hydrogen I... fuel? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you get a reclaimer wreck, the first thing you're doing is pulling out the power supply and then probably the gravity generator ball. Yeah. And then moving those out yeah. and shit like that. Yeah. So, so like, there'll, there'll be more, more uh, aspects to it. It's just this first one is easy because it's also the reverse of this is repair. This is just them that being able to do salvage and repair. So, yeah. Uh, Steve B. Dancer asks Since salvage is like mining, do you feel like the prospector should be able to salvage too uh, for a like, head change? What do you Different think? Different industrial process on, on the back end. Like when you're mining, you're taking essentially gravel with some valuables and then you're just storing it somewhere. Plus, maybe filtering it on the way. But the salvage. If you watch the ISC where they showed it, you strip the hull and then it compresses it into a nice little cube that comes out at the end. So it's a different industrial process. It's It doesn't work the same. You can't, at least it, uh, my knowledge of metallurgy is not that good, but I'm pretty sure the furnace you use to refine ore is a different furnace that you use to melt down scrap metal. I'm pretty sure it it's, works differently. I'm sure you use different um, reagents and, and, yeah. uh, and chemicals and stuff as well, like that as well, so... Uh, and so, uh, yeah, I, I yeah, I, I I know where Steve's coming from. It's it is no difference in a back end system. You're just taking a material and processing it, but that's not how it works in like the law. You yes, you could do it if they wanted to, but they're not going to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's it's an arbitrary reason why they are not gonna. They could. They're just not gonna. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not, it's not, and I don't think it's a full reskin of, of, I think, I think it's simplistic to say it's a, a reskin of mining. It's not, it's, yeah. it's a completely different process in terms of how they built it. It's just that it looks similar to mining because a lot of stuff Beam is going to look similar to mining because yeah. you're going to have beams like, uh, tractor beams, you know, like r- repairs is going to look fim- similar, uh, tractoring and moving things is going to look similar, uh, uh, let's see what else. Breaching is going to look similar. Uh, bounty hunting is going to have some similarities to it. There's a, like scanning is going to be a technology in the game that will like will be for certain aspects originally, but then that same technology is going to be used for bounty hunting, fi- like finding targets and bounty hunting and scanning wrecks for for valuables and scanning uh, you know rocks for minerals and scanning planet surfaces for for animals. It's going to be the same thing because it's just yeah, but, easier but, to but, build that. Is that the same gameplay though? If you're scanning, if you're scanning for the stuff that for, like you scan for a wreck, is that scanning gameplay the same as scanning for like ground resources? Yeah, they're, they're, and they're just reskinning the scanning. Like it's, it's same process, different thing. Yeah, uh, but it's also more nuanced. Like you know, if I'm if I'm doing a ground, if I'm scanning for a, a base to see if there's somebody inside that base walking around, that's going to be a different application. But it's going to use the same core technology and look probably look fairly similar. But they're not going to be the same yeah. thing. Um, so, but also yes, embrace the beam. Beam citizen is the superior citizen. Yes. Um, <laughs> Uh, right. You know, beams are just a very easy way to do a lot of things without making too much effort on it, and it's valid. Like yeah. it gets the job done. Yeah, there's there's, uh, there's there's only so much you want to focus on certain aspects where where of like realism before you start getting into it's overcomplicating something that should be simple. Yeah, and I as CIG or more already overcomplicates things that should be simple. I am, I am very okay with them taking simple routes for some cases, you know? Yeah. Uh, Thank God they sped up the elevators. Yeah. (laughs) Thank God. Uh, All right. Cupan asks, how's everyone doing tonight? I'm great. Thank you, Cupan. You asked that Uh, every time I'm here. I appreciate it. My nose is getting blocked and blocked and it's making me sound worse and worse. Yeah. Do you you need to get some medicine to to clear it? No, I I haven't. I'm going to need to get some Sudafed, but uh, I mean, that's why I get up. Like I've got up twice to blow my nose. Yeah. (laughs) I'm I'm doing fine. Uh, I could sleep more. <laughs> I spent way too much time um, <laughs> in this week. There was a lot of work stuff that I had to go for for work. This and then, is not two a.m. for you. Uh, I, yeah, I drank true. way too much coffee today, and then I drank an energy drink, and I'm like just dying. waiting for the crash to happen. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just hoping we're gonna be done before that. Will happen right as you crash. That's what'll happen. Yeah. Uh, all right. 
If you see Shit. me just dropping, just yell out my name. It's, it's going to be fine. <laughs> Steve B. Dancer asks, what, uh, what is each of your favorite features coming to 318? Diablos, we'll start with you on this one. Of course, man. I can't remember what's coming in for it. I haven't bothered <laughs> to check it again. Because like half the time it's like, oh, this is coming. That's coming. I'm bringing it up myself. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, locations, don't give a crap. Uh, gameplay, probably looking at this. The security post is going to be different. That security post change up. Uh, they really need a, like, I think you talked about this in one of the other cups of tables I was watching, where if you're, if you, oh, you accidentally shot someone, you got a tier, four, you got a tier two, you you killed a guard, tier two. You have to get a security point crowd. Then everyone's going to be there and it's just going to be a, it's going to be fun if you want to go there. Mm-hmm. If you have to go there, it'll be a pain in the ass. Yeah. Uh... So that's that's going to be interesting, that one. Honestly, for me, uh, the most, the biggest thing is, I'm looking through it myself, so I'm trying to remember, because it's cut, they've, they've cut a bunch of stuff that I actually was looking forward to. Um, probably, honestly, the, the PES system, just because I'm looking forward to it because it'll be out. Like, it'll yeah. be done. Like, that, that whole thing is done. Maybe they'll forget it exists for another year or two and come back to it. Maybe it'll improve the game, but it'll be done. The, sis, the back-end systems, are it's one more domino down for, for the next one. Because I'm not expecting 318 to actually be much different from what we have now, but with just maybe better frames because of Gen 12. But if I had to say another thing, Gen 12 would be the other thing. The fully, full or mostly full implementation of Gen 12 is probably the biggest thing uh, I'm looking forward to. Space Cutter, what do you think? Uh, I have to concur on Gen 12 and PS. I am hoping it's not going to break things too much because we're going to have a very long PTU mm-hmm. and hopefully see how you're going to break it again. It. <laughs> yeah, hopefully they're, they're going to like use the PTU to actually fix shit rather than just here and there fix a little thing and then release it with major blockers like they always do. Like once, see, you just once do it the way every other company in the world does it, please, for fuck's sakes. If I do this shit at work, I get fired. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they did add the Corsair in there as well, I think. Yes. So I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to the Corsair. Yeah. yeah. I, Exploring I, I, other, well, other people's health. <laughs> have they talked about what they meant by sandbox present activities? Yes. Uh, the, the stuff they talked about is like um, you can go in certain parts of the of the prison, you'll be able to access missions that will be given to you for like assassination missions. Uh, or yeah, and they, missions. like yeah, that's. I also like the fact they're going to add like more missions to the platforms they made for us. And yes, yeah. there's going to be like like F- FPS missions in those areas will be really fun mm-hmm. because it means you can go to them out of the like event cycle and do missions there then. It'll especially be good with uh, PES and uh, Gen 12 iteration because it should improve the reaction time of the uh, of the NPCs so we won't have derp NPCs as much. I don't, I'm not saying we won't. This is a Star Citizen. I'm not anticipating Have you seen them work properly? It. Holy crap. Yes. When they work properly, it's nuts. And I th- I'm hoping that PES will improve that. And with Gen 12, it'll make it look better and they, it won't be as poppy, and uh, you know, just kind of yeah. into existence. So... Um, but yeah, I, I'm, that would be good. Uh, all right. Uh, next question comes from Faye's Kitten, who asks, do you think the lockers inside most ships and shown in the road to, uh, to pyro gameplay where we can quick swap any, uh, we, we can, sw- okay, I don't know what this question is. Do you think the lockers inside most ships and shown in the road to pyro gameplay where we can a uh, quick swap clothing options? Question mark. I think what is like, what do you think of that? It's- yeah. The idea of like you going into the to the yeah. to those those things and have a quick swap where you can just like choose and it'll automatically equip it. That sure would be nice. I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think it's gonna happen. No, but it's, it's, sure it's, nice. it's gonna be like we got we got but with the locker activation. Go yeah. the locker activate it. You get the locker's inventory and then you switch it for that for the yep. system yeah. we've already been doing. And you'll see when you put it in the inventory, it'll show the the, the suit inside the the locker, uh, the suit yeah. locker and that kind of stuff. That's what it's going to be. Um, I like the idea. And I think, I think CIG could go f- beyond that and, and start having things like I want in this locker. I want 
this suit and I'm going to pay for that suit to be delivered to my ship while I wait. So if I need to like restock my ship and I lost that suit in the last uh, thing, I can pay for it and it'll arrive um, yep. at the station a certain amount of time. But that's that goes back to our other questions, tying it in. Nice little segue, a little connection pieces between the, the last video and this video because we talked about it in the last video too. Uh, what do you think? Like it would be nice to do it, but it's like the same with like loadout presets. It's a very small feature, relatively speaking, mm -hmm. and it would require so much work to do. It's just not worth it right now. Yeah. Like it, it doesn't bring enough value for CIG to even consider doing the effort because like to do all the locker stuff is like, oh, now lockers have two different behaviors. And now we have to deal with presets and what if there is, because there is a validation on what you can and cannot equip on your armor mm -hmm. in game. And now we have to bypass that validation or what if that validation fails? What if this, what if that? And it just, you know, snowballs into this huge thing. That validation of equipping stuff to ships and stuff? I have no idea. They haven't failed that at all ever. You haven't <laughs> been a laggy system out, equipped like 30 guns to the one yeah. like missile pod rack and then fire 300 guns at once. That's never happened. <laughs> yeah. So it's probably going to happen eventually. I, I would rather see this kind of a, I guess, extension of the inventory system mm -hmm. where you can kind of build out like, okay, this is my preset number one. And if it's available, you can equip it. But again, it's lots of work for very little value. It's, it's kind of, you know, it's like a quality of life feature it's quality of life improvement like it's mm -hmm. gonna make your life a little less annoying but it's gonna cost tens of hours of development time eh, yeah yeah i'm gonna be agree with on, on that in general it's it's a nice thing to do but it's one of those things that you you put in once the game has a, a good yeah. solid beta phase when you can take two Sounds good. doesn't work yeah two to three people who are in the game who two, two or three developers sit down with all the tools they have fully develop and go make this happen figure out how to make this work and then they'll do it over uh, a couple of months but that's you know when, when we still have the when when as diablos points out when we still have the 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 system failing to equip properly yeah <laughs> right now in normal non-special circumstances it's going to be much more difficult for them to kind of get that whole thing working um all right stevie dancer asks what do you think of the path cig took on the vulture having small guns at the ends of its two arms for salvage uh didn't they say it was the part of the tech they were using was for um was for tractor beams too or uh, no it was like turret gameplay Right, they 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 use it as kind of a. They added two semi. They have their own turret space. They're the mini turrets. Yeah, cable yeah. turrets on the end of those guns. They talked about. Yeah, some something like that. Yeah. Gimbals, What's not gimbals? What? Well, it's not just gimbals. It's no, like they the, said the technology yeah. they're using is technology they're going to use to go back and look at turrets as well because what they developed yeah. it for. So. Nubifier makes a good point. You don't need guns. You just kind of strip the hull. Yeah. I, uh, I think valid strategy. I think I think what he means. Is, remember, what I think what he's saying is that the the vulture has these uh, those two things which are effectively guns on the ends of its arms, and its arms aren't actually articulating. It's just using the the laser beams on its on its uh, the gun lasers on its on its arms. Yeah, and I think it's just how they decided to 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 approach that is all it is. It's just because I don't think the the arms were ever designed to be actual like articulated arms. They're designed to uh, be uh, I think it was just like the it has like processor. the little gutty thingies on the arms where you can yeah. section off the hull with it. Uh, I don't I don't recall the you know the hull stripping thirds being there in the original concept. Mm -hmm. but to be fair, I didn't they did that, that much. so you don't have to keep turning the ship every five seconds to bloody. You just set up a distant away and go yeah. wipe yeah. through, so you don't have to Instead keep moving your ship every five seconds to try to yeah. yeah. Like to try to hold like like whatever it's the the jig whatever they call it the jig cut where you have to like yeah. move maneuver it over those places yeah yeah um all right uh next question comes from uh xrash433 who asks what type of organization play will or should cig implement implement 
Will it be as immersive as Eve Online? Uh, well, that's up to you. They'll be like holding yeah. Korea for like six hours, holding Jump Town for four hours. That's organization play. If you're not, if they're 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 the big events that you have to hold against groups of people coming in. That's that's what that's like. If you're doing Oris, like the current events, uh, organization play, like going to Siege Orison and doing that, you are literally mm -hmm. doing an org play. You can do it solo. I've done it. I've two men all of Orison with me and a mate. And then I finished the entire last platform solo. It's not hard. It's just, it's a lot funner and easier with a mate if you get downed or with room. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not easier, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I think the, the CIG's approach to organization play is a lot more loose. Uh, I don't think it's intentional. Because for those of you who don't know, with EVE, you have to like pay a certain amount of money to hold on to a, a, a system. But when you do that, you pay that money, it's yours. As long as you keep the payment up, it's yours. Which, to me, doesn't isn't very immersive, nor is it very engaging. It's just I have fat wallet. Throw it at the at the screen now. This this place I, I got here first, so this place is mine now. Fuck you. There's nothing you can do to change that unless someone forgets to pay their the bill, and that's yeah. So then it has a org org wall for like four days. Yeah, because they forget to pay the bill. Like, but like that's a that's that's only because of uh, because of a mistake. Which yeah, they happen. But it's a lot more engaging. The organization play in Star Citizen is going to be more ad hoc. It's going to be, what yeah. do you do? Why do you want to do it? And there'll be events that organizations can be involved in, but there's not going to be like a limit to organizations. It'll be more sandbox, sandbox approach and less... Um, uh, they give you the tools to to have the, yeah. those experiences rather than giving than forcing those experiences to happen to you. Yes, it's, it's a weird thing. Like they'll make something for an org but they also make it solo. Like you can do it solo, mm -hmm. but good luck. I mean, the, it's not about organization gameplay per se. Yeah. Like the gameplay is emergent. Gameplay is what you make it. It's about the supporting features for organizations. I actually made a video on this like two or three weeks back. It's what features they're going to give organizations to facilitate this gameplay, uh, which is going to start with the org tax. And then we're going to have Shared armories for orgs. Yeah, like, shared armories and ships is yeah, the yeah. best thing they could do. Yeah, the the one thing that I actually really see a lot of orgs wanting is like, give us a way to give all members a certain set of armor, mm -hmm. so that we all can look the same. That's all everybody seems to be wanting right now, and it would actually be fairly easy to implement. Again, talked about this in a video. If you are interested in seeing what I talked about, go watch my video I'll, on it. I'll put it up there on the top left, but it'll also be in the comments yeah. in the comments below. I'll find that yeah. video or, or he'll send it to me and I'll put it in the, in the, in the discussion. Yeah, I think it was called something like has CAG forgotten about orgs? Yeah. Uh, um, Black Dream, the, the little or yellow coin thing, you get a question for there. Yeah, you click that little coin icon and then you can ask the questions there, Black Dream Hunk. So, and then and I'll then put it into the queue. All right, next question comes from Nairbear, who asks, would you expect paints and cosmetics to go up in price as PES and server meshing come online and we're able to see more of each other? No, swear I to God. I don't think so. CIG doesn't seem to increase the price of skins, or they don't seem to increase the price of things that have already released. They tend to not do that. There is some exceptions, like the Caterpillar, but... Uh, there's also, you could buy the Caterpillar in game. <laughs> so I think we will, probably won't see these things go up in price until well after they've been available in game. Cause you can purchase skins in game. It's just not all of them. It's just some of them, um, within game cash instead of having to do this. So you can grind out skins. Uh, I think the only place you can get them is cousin crows. I think you may be able to get them to other places, but it's the main, place uh, you, you can get, get them at any park. place. Any place that sells weapon parts do sell skins like uh, the the uh, the place Grim Hex's uh, Dumpers Depot. What are they called? That yeah, they actually have skins. Uh, not many, but they have like retaliator skins and stuff. Mm -hmm. What do y'all think? Um, what do you expect? Do you expect uh, paints and cosmetics to go up in price? No. In game, yes. In 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 real world, no. Making it more expensive in game makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, next question comes from Stevie Dancer, who asks, what ship or ships would you like to see the Skull and Crossbones paint for? 
the Avenger, which not the Avenger, the uh, the Aurora, where it was actually put on first and then removed yeah. because of the rework, and they never done it again. All of them. Yes. Everything should have a skull and crossbones paint. Then again, yeah. Where's my star kitten? For fuck's sake. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> honestly, the customization options in Star Citizen they could go nuts for them if they really wanted to. They won't, obviously, but. Things like having a preset number of of icons that you can you can put on there, like skull and crossbones, star kitten, you know, um, yeah. th- different sort of- orgs. Like ha- like if you get, I want I want to be able to grain rep and be able to slap Hurston Dynamics on my ship. Yeah, or because or, old or, man uh, Algrid is a good man of mine, and, <laughs> <laughs> and or or CDF, right? You know, people would would, would well, I think people would like to have a CDF. Yeah, logo, do enough CDF, logo. get CDF skins. Do enough, yeah. get Nortel, yeah. the Nortel like nine square logo. thing. Yeah, and put it in there. Yeah, um, those sigils. You That's a really good things. way of doing reps. That's a yeah. really good way of doing rep. Um, but you'd, it requires CAG to build the tools and do that, and it, yeah. they would they would lose money because they couldn't sell it as a skin. But like at the same time. And of course, people are saying like org decal. No, once they do it once, all they have to do is put the decal in game. Like it's yeah. not, once the system's in, it's not hard. They just have to get the system in. Well, I'm sure they also do it. Yeah, I'm sure they have a system to put decals in onto ships because it's got to be part of their their creation of the uh, yeah. of the skins. It's just a matter of turning that into a player usable action. Yeah. So, um, but what do you what do you think, Space Gator? What would you like to see it put on the Corsair? Okay, like yeah, it, obviously. It, obviously. <laughs> like that's the first thing that jumped to my mind immediately. Did the course have a skin with the con the, the concept so or no? No, it doesn't. No. I don't it's think just... skins were a thing when the concept came out. Oh no, it no. was because it was a named ship, therefore skins were a thing. Oh, but true. I don't think it had I don't think it had a skin with the concept. They don't they didn't do the skins concept combo a lot until very recently. <laughs> Yeah. So. No. Well, they did. We've um. They did with the Cutlass Black in the first. Like, it was a pirate pack. I came with a skin. Yeah. Combo. Well, M fifty had it too, and a couple of them had it. But like, yeah. they they did it for a certain for a little bit, and then they stopped doing it. And then when they brought in the concept of war bonds for LTI, they started adding skins to sweeten the pot to get people to want to yeah. um, purchase them a little bit more. So, uh, which I don't think anyone purchased a. Uh, a ship for the skin. <laughs> I, really, I don't uh, think so. You, mm, you say that, but people really want that Vindicator. The, that, the Vindicator? The Mustang, the Mustang, oh, the Mustang, Mustang Alpha? Vindicator. Yeah, but it's a Mustang. Yeah, that uh, thing. People want to... Sp- uh, it's on the gray market for 200 bucks. It's oof. stupid. Oof. But it's I don't a six-month people... insurance Mustang Alpha. I don't, I don't think people went out and bought the, the, the Mustang for the... Uh, or bought the Vindicator I mean, and the Mustang. But I people... Didn't. But plenty of people bought Mustang Vindicators because they wanted a Mustang and it had a cool skin. So, um, anywho, uh, next question. Oh God, this is this is this is a Q pan knows that hit my button. Questions on this year's uh, question uh, opinions on this year's best in show. Space coder. I slept right through it, the whole thing. I was like, I looked at the lineup and I'm like, okay, character character's gonna win. Maybe MSR is going to get a skin. Maybe I'm going to get a skin on the Pisces. Okay, yeah, I don't need to pay attention to this anymore. Diablos? Like, <laughs> uh, the same. I just, uh, what was, what were the four winners? It was the, I really hated they screwed up the wording at the start. I'm like, oh yeah, the top eight ships get a skin off. Amazing. I don't have to vote past the first run. Yeah. And then that, that they changed the name. They, they, someone screwed up and then. Yeah, they go back and change it. They, they changed it back copy. to four. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, damn it, I thought at the top eight we'll get it, not only top four. Uh besides that, I it once once the the they had the brackets out, you're like, okay, Parsi is good chance. MSR, yes, and then Carrick, yes, Carrick. and then whatever kicks in, whatever kicks in. Yeah. Or the fourth ship? Uh the Scorpius. Hmm. Oh yeah, of course. The are uh, the the bloody it's the X Wing. <laughs> the X Wing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um all right. Q-Pan wants me to go on a soapbox. So I'll go on my soapbox. Uh, it was boring. This just best in show is boring. And I, I think it's, it's where all of like, we slept through it. It wasn't inciting. It wasn't engaging. And uh, what I'll say is it was exactly like every other best in show other than last year, yeah. which is boring. And I'll, I'll, I'll make I, an I, even bolder claim that I think it's a waste of time and money. Because I do love. Good. 
how people think. Oh, the how, the character only won like once before. Now it's won it, twice out of four. You can't count the first year because it wasn't a ship. It wasn't a ship in the first year, <laughs> and, the, and the second year it wasn't released. Um, and they only oh, no, it was in the second year. It wasn't a second year. It didn't win last year because of the uh, it got kicked out by the Argo Cargo. Yes. Early. Oh was, no, I thought we've had it longer because the the Cutlass has won twice. The Cutlass, oh, we've had four. Remember. This is the fourth ship showdown. Uh huh. Is it first year yeah. the character didn't exist? Okay. The, yeah. the second year the character won it. Mm-hmm. Third the year, third the year the character got knocked out by the Argo Cargo, and this year it won again. Yeah, so. I, and that's I think that that's a point I'll, I I've always made. It's just like without the Argo Cargo thing, the character would have won three years in a row. Yeah, and yes, I mean the Argo Cargo thing was we made it up. It was you, myself, and I think Nazaris. We were sitting here. And we we're like, what if Argo Cargo? A few won? people at the same time thought of it. Yeah. Oh no. I mean, it's not, it's not even an, my idea. It was it was Redlier's yeah. idea two years ago when the Best in Show first started. Redlier pushed for the the Argo Cargo, and then when that, they CIG said no, they said Grey Cat, <laughs> and said CIG said no. So. Yeah. Uh, they tried it again the, the year that the Carrick won, and CIG said, you almost got enough for the Argo Cargo. Try it again next year. And so I knew Red Lear was, was doing something like that, and I kind of piggybacked on it. I was like, that's fucking hilarious. Let's do it. Yeah, and let's do it. we did it. And everybody got mad. That, yes. That <laughs> but I will say I, this. I love... Go ahead. Uh, I just love how many people voted on that. It was like 40,000 40, votes. On yeah. the younger, uh, like it been in the last vote set. Forty thousand people voted on that, and you know how many people voted in the last the last round of uh, of the Carrick versus the MSR? Like Twenty two thousand or something. Half, total. yeah, like half of the, the number of people who voted for 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 it. And this is my argument that it's a waste of time and money. Who is this for? Is it for the fans? Because the fans, you're 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 just going to have the best meta ships win. Yeah. Like once people say, oh, well, more ships will come out. It's like, great. So it's going to end up being a battle of the $600 ships. Get a free skin. Yeah. Oh, look, look, skin. look guess, guess what's coming out next year. The Benny Merchantman. Oh. The Benny Merchantman's going to win, you know? And then the year after that, uh, the Idris might come out or or the Perseus or the uh, the, the Polaris or the, uh, the you know, all of those bigger they, ships. They, they need single seaters and multi seaters are two different groups. They, they need they need to they need to improve the, the system because right now the yeah. system if it's designed for players it's it's already getting old and it's going to get older even further like say what you want about the Argo Cargo and its competition whether you enjoyed it or didn't you were engaged in it you were pissed off and posting on the forums or you were loving it and going all the way through there was there was a lot of 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 engagement from the community yeah. And if that's what you want, if that's what she actually wants, then they need to change the system as it currently works. If that's not what they want, if they want to use this as part of like a promotional, try to get more people to play, which is what it seems like they're doing this year because they paired it with a free fly. And they've done that in the past with free fly with it. Then it was an even more abysmal failure because nobody cares and CIG seems so embarrassed by it that it got kicked off of the front of those uh, that that bookmark roll that the 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 hero yeah it was role. like three yeah. across it was like three across you had to go digging to even get to the the voting options yeah like do you just is it that not is it much is it so much that it just you don't care it's just a a reason an excuse to have a free flight like what's the purpose of this it it seems um like. Because I can already see the future. I'll tell you next year if the Banu Merchantman is released before uh, before Best in Show, then Banu Merchantman will win, and it'll be the Carrick, the Banu Merchantman, and the MSR, and then whatever third ship, probably the Corsair. And then you yeah. know what's going to be have the year after that? The Banu Merchantman, the Carrick, the MSR, and another ship, <laughs> and it'll be like that forever because that's the way people will vote unless there is a concerted effort of groups of people who are trying. Why to Why is have the fun. Carrick so popular? Like, come on, the MSR is shit, in my opinion. Uh, well, the MSR is the, is the, it's, it's the Millennium Falcon. It's, it's the Millennium Falcon. Uh, and the Carrick is the, is the exploration ship. And since the number, the number of people yeah. who are in this game who want to be explorers is, is insane. Like half of the player base has said that they wanted to be explorers. That's the reason why they bought the game. So, um, it's, so if you got that plus with the, with the Carrick, it's got a med bed that has respawn on it. So wait it's until the med bed doesn't respawn anymore. Well, we don't yeah, know if that's true or not. Because I've been looking. Uh, they, no, they've actually stated uh, the only ship that could get one is the Apollo. 
capital ships will get class twos. Uh, explorer ships will get class twos. The only the Apollo has ever stated is going to get a class one. Or the uh, yeah, the but they also ship, the they also when they when they talked about the redig, they'll redig on it. We know that we know they, they'll change. Well, it. no, they, they've already said it and they've already retconned that idea because in the uh, in and the CNG is very careful with their lore team. They're very careful not to back the designers into corners. So they said that all stations have have um, have regen beds in them. It's like a standard practice now that all stations have regen beds as part of the lore. This and the way to do it is just make it to require a crap ton of power. Like yeah, that's or or a lot of resources. So you can regen yeah. once or something like that. There's still there'll, there'll be ways of mitigating it. But the problem is is that like that's the meta the meta thing. And that's the reason why. Go ahead, uh, space coder. Nothing to add actually. I mean the best initial like it was fun the first two years. But the, I think you're right when when you said that you know it's just going to be the same ship. So last year was fun over. as well. The third year was fun because the yeah, the third year was fun too. Yeah, yeah you, you, but it was mostly for the memes because it yeah. was the memes. Well, the first yeah. year, the, memes. the first year was novel. It was like, what is this? So people were engaged yeah. in it. The second year, you had you know new ships coming out, and it was, it was like second yeah. year. It was kind of hype. And the third year was the memes and the people. Like I was the most engaged ever with that. And then we we're going yeah. right back down. Yeah. It's the same low levels. So I think the way to do it would be to either like pick 12 random ships and be like, oh, these are the ships that were most used over the last year. Yeah. And just give it to those. Oh, look, or, the, uh, the Aurora. <laughs> yeah. Why is yeah. that the most used? Well, yeah, I mean, go, go by like ship type. You know, do something new because like it's four years in a row of the same thing. Yeah. So at this point, it, it's getting a little boring. Like we need to do something differently, you know. There's there's a couple of options I've I've floated, which is like do it in game, have people log on the fucking game, do it because make more. I don't want to play the website. I want to play the game. No. Um, number two is uh, make it so that the top four winners have to have a buy the next year. So the next year they can't they can't be they can't be yeah. placed. They've already won one year. They have to wait every two years. Um, and and, um, and this could be just easy explainable well that doesn't make any sense it's like well in lore you could just say that it's the whole damn thing's run by ship companies they just had an idea just so that that, that it doesn't get stale so they want to kind of keep things yeah. interesting um and then um the other one option that i've seen people float is is categories have very specific categories where starter ships and stuff like and just increase the bracket so it's more and then you the the, the best of those brackets best of those those yeah. those categories. The issue with that is there. you have the exploration bracket and then oh the character wins the exploration bracket every year. Yeah, but the thing is is that if you uh if you also did things like make it so that everyone who got uh everyone who got the top four yeah. got everyone got those skins for the top four, doesn't matter if you own the ship or not, then it would put a lot more skin in the game for people who purchased it in game rather than purchased it with cash. Yes, I, I find that it's annoying that you oh you have to have the ship in your hangar to get attributed to you. Yeah. Oh, you have to buy this. It's like and, just give and, us the skin. And the thing is, the CHU's already done that, where they've given us for subscriber flares and for like free stuff with like the the Luminalia stuff, where they've just given us skins for random ships that yeah. we don't necessarily have. So like the had night pack for the reclaimer and stuff is yeah. what I got. But I don't even have a. I don't. I buy, I buy my stuff in game for that. So I don't know. All right, we're going down to the last three, so we can let uh, the space cutter sleep. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Avenator 80 yeah, I'm asks... Feeling, I'm feeling the downturn. Yes. Like it's, it's starting it's to come. Coffee. <laughs> Do you think the 890 jump will get the promised full SCU with 318 and the cargo refactor? I'm going to say no. I don't think so. Like, I'm pretty sure there's something fundamentally broken with the cargo grid on the 890 jump. That's why it didn't get fixed until now. And it's not going to get fixed just because the cargo refactor is the thing. Yeah, like I'm certain of this. Well, you, you uh, can play stuff there, but you have to run it through the ship. Yeah, <laughs> you so, run it back out of the ship after it's done. So you still have to yeah. load the diving there and unload it. Yeah, I, I just don't think it's going to be fixed because it's not a priority either. It's yeah. it's a giant ship that doesn't really fit into a specific gameplay, it, it, other than yeah. look at me, I'm rich, Diablos. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I use it as a luxury yacht that. Has guns that you on it. trash. You that you trash. You you, you use it I, like you're I, freaking... I was using it as a. I was using it as an org setup. So everyone was drinking drinks in the back. It happened. 
And you should have, you I should have like picking it up. bottles yeah. rolling around on the floor, like like empty That's magazines just tossed across. It, he, it looks like a freshman dorm. His eight yeah, jet looks like a freshman dorm. <laughs> when you have eight guys using it for like four weeks, I didn't. That yeah. ship was in game for like the whole patch until the next wipe, like yeah. the next reset. Because I just used it. I'm like, screw it. I'm going to use this ship as it's meant to be like end game and see how long I have it for. Yeah. I had it stolen. I've had it like I had to pay it like pay for it to be redocked. Mm -hmm. Like. That, that yeah. what happened essentially was the door was open when you spawn a 890 jump at a space station the door opens automatically so anyone gets there first gets into it which is annoying yeah. as hell it's on the ground no one can get into it besides you so yeah it's just that space station one it, because they it's bugged when you you can't open the door while it's docked and auto opens mm -hmm. so um, people can easily step, really get in and get it um but yeah I, that's just it let's move on we got a lot two more questions Stevie Dancer asks, do you feel that the facial and body selection once chosen should not be changeable so you can recognize friends and foes? Uh, go ahead. Go ahead, Space it, Coder, with this one, and then we'll go with Diabolus and then me. I'll, go, I'll be right back. Uh, I mean, we already have plastic surgery now, so it's possible to change the way you look. They could limit it in some way where if you want to do it in the future right now, it doesn't matter because nothing is permanent. In the future... What I think they could do is like it's gonna cost you a shit ton of money to do it, as it does in real life. I think that's kind of a acceptable solution. Both ways, diabolus. What do you think? Well, they already it's a law thing. Um, the med beds. The, the, even if you watch Paul's like talk of regeneration in one of the videos he's done, the med beds themselves, where you can like do your uh, like T one med beds, where you can respawn on. They can also do customization of your face. It, the whole tech of the guys who designed that gel designed a system to do like almost full body changes. Like there was a full law thing that was all, uh, what what uh, what for Paul put his ears in. Paul, what was the name of the company who does the gel for the uh, regen? By by Adicorp. They can do full body change customization before they made the bed beds, right? Yeah. They were talking, yeah. That's they can grow arms and stuff before that. Yeah, they could grow full arms, grow full body parts, grow like and you can change all your faces. That's in law. That yeah, was a yeah. literal in law thing. Uh, and on top of that, they also made the auto docks, so they made all of the the beds that work like that too. Uh, and th that whole thing, yeah. like the the whole customizations of the customization of the players, is is just the CIG in lore explanation for why you can change your character's appearance on the fly in game. Um, it's also the start of Squadron 42 when you change yes. the character. Because yes, they, that's you're actually going to have that. In, you're going to be in a med bed saying, oh, what are you going to look like? You're doing medical anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so on, 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 on Uncle UEC's dime or Uncle UE's dime. So yeah. um, how do I feel about the, the whole selection? Uh, it sh uh, should not be changeable. It's, it's got to be changeable. It's just we just talk yeah. about it. it's the lore thing. It's it's people want to change stuff in the in the future. So it makes sense. Uh, and the only reason why it doesn't persist from um, from patch to patch right now is because of database wiping. Uh, with PES, I imagine that a lot of that is going to be more stabilized and kept as, as long as you would like it. So, uh, Last question comes from Black Dream Hunk, who asks, question, is the 890 jump customizable still? Not right now, but no. I think it's still playing. Uh, am I still muted? No, you're good. Okay. It is. The name... And that is it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not uh, even a paint skin. I, I want a paint skin. Give me, yes. Oh, let me change the color of the damn thing. <laughs> Blue, green, pink, yellow. I don't care. Just give me a color. Just give me a color. Um, like, white is great, but, but give me a color, please. Yeah. I think eventually they'll have more customization options, but the 890 jump is so fucking far down. What a god that if they could add a fucking 40 grand fucking concierge, I'd be pissed. It's it's gonna be super low on their list of, of what they of how to fix it. And it'll be like swap out the dining room for a dance hall or some shit like that. So yeah. Well they did have that initial initial trailer without the middle statue in. But that's a statue in the middle of a hallway. Like Yeah. 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 All right. Well, that's the last question. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for the Space Coder and Diablos for showing up and talking about uh, talk about this these to topics and taking these questions. Uh, if you enjoyed this and you're watching this live on Twitch, X will or not X, but just follow, follow, the, follow the Twitch stream. Do do it. Do it now. Uh, come join us live if you're watching this after the fact. Come join us live at 6 p.m. 
Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific on Saturdays, where you can ask your questions live to whoever the guests are at the time. And uh, as uh, if you're watching this after the fact as well, make sure you subscribe, like the uh, hit the like button, and tell us your own questions and thoughts on these questions down below in the comments. I do read every question. I don't necessarily comment on every question, but I do read every question. So uh, if you've got some other things or questions, I might pop in and ask. And I'm sure Diabolus or Space Coder will, st will stop by and check out some of that stuff as well. Um, yeah. But make sure you are uh, going to youtube.com slash the space coder and uh, armory dot the space coder dot space for more customization options and learning where to grind that that color purple uh, in. Yeah, uh, I'll work grind. Uh, and like I say every time, hope to see you someday in the black.